Our feelings of Nigerians are mixed as the nation's independence anniversary draws closer. Concerned Nigerians who have constantly berated the handling of security issues in Nigeria wonder if the independence celebration was worth celebrating. The cracks in the wall, they say, could have been avoided if the right policies were to be employed. Actually, there's nothing to celebrate. Um, the only message to Nigerians is to get ready as we move into this electioneering fully and to look towards the direction of those of us who have the ideas on how to move. For everything that they met, the APC government doubled it. They met Boko Haram, they changed it to, they had it, they swapped with the analysis. They had uh, bandits, they had uh, gunmen, so they got done well. We will be truthful to ourselves. And we should stop making excuses uh, for politicians to say, oh, they tried in this, uh, in this manner, we can even... Well, it's becoming so, so, so bad to the point that the air is not safe, rail line is not safe, road is not safe. You can't, you can't move from one point to another in this country and you'll be sure you get to your destination. You know, it, it's just a, um, a clear um, analysis, you know, an assessment that this government has not done well at all. If you don't fix social security, you can deploy all the Tukamu jets, you can bring in all the armed men, you can even bring in the idea of the present, uh, you know, the presidential candidate of the APC, which is for you to recruit 50 million youths. <laughs> Nothing is going to change because social security remains the basis. As a country, uh, individuals have tried to ensure they are safe. And of course, uh, uh, the capacity we all know it's not enough to manage the security challenges we go through in our everyday lives. But uh, you must also agree with me that uh, we've seen quite a lot of transformation. Uh, the upsurge of private security organizations like CJTF in the Northeast, vigilante groups across many areas in Nigeria, means uh, as communities, as states, as local governments, people are also taking responsibility for their security. So even though, uh, I mean, the government structures are not enough to contain the challenges we are facing, uh, I have also observed that uh, in response to the challenges, communities are also trying to put uh, protection for themselves.